trauma does keep you stuck in the past. Because the experience was so dramatic, because it had such an effect on your mind and body, we can at times get stuck in the past. We have essentially been frozen in time. Because the experience was so terrible, your body is trying, your body and mind are trying to get you to learn from this experience. And as soon as you learn why you got into that experience, as soon as you learn to better protect yourself in the future from that experience happening again to you, the sooner you're gonna be able to let go and move on from thinking and ruminating on that terrible traumatic experience. If you keep thinking about the traumatic experience you had, say, with a narcissist, it was so out of the ordinary that everything about what you know, who you are, was completely shattered. It was a life-changing experience, but because it was so negative in nature, it's caused you to get stuck in the past. You're stuck in the past because your body and mind have to resolve this issue. A traumatic experience with a narcissist is like any other illness. You get sick and then you slowly get better and better again. A common response to trauma and why we get stuck in the past is we just try to ignore it. The experience is too overwhelming and our response is just to block it out. And some of the worst ways some people do this is they self-medicate, they drink, they can even just keep scrolling social media, anything. They, they distract themselves with a new relationship. Doing this is unhealthy and it's not gonna get at the root cause of the issue and, it's gonna, and this is why you're stuck in this traumatic experience. You're not dealing with it. You have to confront it. Even though it's uncomfortable, even though it's not gonna feel good, the best way and the quickest way to move on from these traumatic experiences is to deal with them. Sit there and confront them. Your body and mind are highly intelligent and they know what to do. If you stop running away from the traumatic experience and deal with it, really sit there and let your body process the emotions and what has happened to you, it's gonna actually let you process it and move on. I had to forgive myself. I had to forgive myself for being so naive, for being so empathetic to someone who treated me so poorly and that's all it is you ran into someone someone so narcissistic and meaning ill to you that it was a shock to your system you've never ran into someone like this before and your body is just trying to remind you that you need to be more careful next time to not be so trusting of everyone and truly it's a gift it might have come in a very hurtful package but this is a gift you now know that there's people out there like this and it's made you more powerful because unlike the narcissist, you now have the power to perceive dangerous people. Narcissists are actually very gullible as well. They get fooled by more intelligent and more conniving narcissists all the time. Narcissists get fooled by others because they actually have a very low sense of perception their ego doesn't allow them to see the bad in other people because they have to constantly protect this fake image they're putting up they tend to ignore a lot of things they tend to ignore, ignore a lot of things inside themselves and other people just know this the narcissist has a very disordered mind and you shouldn't feel bad about what happened to you just learn from it forgive yourself move on and you'll see that you'll very soon start feeling a lot better about what has happened and about the future as well.